Hey, Ready Up Live, in the latest Halo community update, we get a look into the next Halo 5 update called Ghosts of Meridian. Now, this update's gonna be coming out early April rather than late March, so hold off a little bit longer for that one. This update contains a new Warzone map called Skirmish at Darkstar. Skirmish at Darkstar will allow you to battle it out amidst scattered elements of colonial reclamation as humanity attempts to take back the world's charred surface. The upcoming map brings an entirely new feel to the Warzone experience, with a variety of unique sight lines, flank routes, and cover pieces that invite you to push across and throughout the map, dodge danger from patrolling vehicles, and perfectly time an attack on opponents. If you've been anxiously awaiting a new place to bust out your finest wrecks and lay down destruction, this is it. All we get is this one look. There's a ship in the middle of the map, I really like the idea, it feels abandoned. In this update, we'll also get new wrecks, as always, one of which is the Hannibal Mantis. Now, the Mantis sucks. Everybody knows that. It's one of the worst vehicles in Halo 5. It's, it's paper mache. It's terrible. But maybe, just maybe, we finally have a Mantis worth piloting. Now, we all know about farming in Warzone. This is an issue I've addressed in another video. It sucks. It sucks that that has to happen, and we all know Achilles is the reason. In this update, they kind of dance around the idea that Achilles is the main reason this is happening, but it is 343, trust me, Achilles is the reason people farm. No one really cares about their KD in Warzone. People really care about unlocking an armor set. That's why they're farming. They're looking into ways to prevent this. I still vote for some sort of launcher, teleporter system, something to get around people. When you're trapped inside your base, it sucks. There is now a Team Snipers playlist in Halo 5. A lot of people love this, so we'll see how long this one sticks around. And we no longer have Fiesta or Social Assault. Some people were tweeting me saying, where'd those go? Why aren't those permanent? Well, because those aren't really permanent playlists. That being said, there should be some kind of action sack playlist. Fiesta, fun modes, bring it. We want that 343. Have it for, we need that fun stuff. Fiesta was some of the most fun I've had in Halo 5. I like to have that playlist there to, get away from all the competition sometimes. The Halo World Championship 2016 Finals will take place from March 18th to the 20th. You'll be able to watch it live on twitch.tv slash Halo, the Halo channel, Xbox One, bunch of places. I will actually be going to it. I managed to get a ticket. I'm very, very excited to cover it. I'm going to vlog. I'm going to talk to some players, hopefully, talk to some community members. So if you by chance are going yourself, let me know in the comment section below because there weren't many of them. Tickets sold out in like one minute after they went live. So hopefully I'll be able to make some great content for you guys. I'm going to end this video off talking about a sponsor, Elgato. Yes, I'm going to be completely transparent. They are a sponsor to Ready Up Live, but I do actually enjoy Elgato products. I've been using them forever, so it's awesome that they're sponsoring. But if you are interested, hit up the link right there. Makes me look good. You can check out the products, because if you want to record like I do, that's what we use. Minolta got one now, too, and War Dog's about to get one. They're awesome. Green Skull, you're a sellout. I hear you. All right, I'll catch you guys next video.